Hi, Dave Konecki here with Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for April 1st, 2014. Following a presentation I made to Indiana and Kentucky dealers in Louisville several weeks ago, I was asked by a dealer attending the session how much confidence I had in the monthly reports from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. I quickly responded, not a lot. In retrospect, I think I responded too quickly. Later that evening, I spoke with the dealer who had asked the question and apologized for my offhand response. I told him what I should have said is, what USDA data does is provide all of us a point of reference. The fact of the matter is, for many of us involved in agriculture, the data coming from the USDA is the only ongoing game in town. It provides information we use as a base to build trend lines and forecasts. It provides historical data on which we compare current information and lay a foundation for a lot of our business decisions. It occurred to me after giving my off-the-cuff comment that we, I in this case, often dismiss information that we don't pay for directly as having little value. We all know we indeed are paying for it, but we're not writing USDA a check for any specific service. Also, it made me wonder how farm equipment dealers view information they receive from the USDA. So, in our last dealer view survey, we asked and 179 dealers responded. Specifically, we asked dealers how important are monthly USDA reports like crop production, crop progress, ending stocks, crop prices, and others to your dealership business. I don't know if I was surprised or not by the response, but nearly 71% of the dealers who answered the survey said the USDA reports are either very important or somewhat important to their business. Only 10.6% indicated that the USDA data has little or no value for them. As I've often said in the past and in repeating here, to give it real value, the information that USDA and others provide, including farm equipment, should be used as a baseline and then put into context of what's going on in your specific region and your specific customer base. Of course, the data provided by USDA has value, and yes, I do have confidence in much of it, if, if not most of it. So I offer my apologies again for my glib response. At the same time, I wouldn't suggest using such information in a vacuum for making important decisions. Thanks for checking in. We'll talk to you next time.